Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Talon Jungle here in Season 14 with the best build and runes possible. You want Electrocute Sudden, Eyeball Ultimate Hunter, Free Boots Cosmic with Double AD and Armor. I wouldn't mind starting on this guy's Raptors. Talon Raptor starts really strong if you're gonna solo start your Raps or enemy Raps. Generally speaking, Talon is a level 3 jungler with red buff. Kind of similar to Shaco in that regards. His level 4 is no different than his level 3. And he's pretty mobile in ganks with his Q dash, with his wall jump. For our build, we are going to be rushing down Yomu's first item. Yomu's is incredibly overtuned at the moment. For the price, you just can't beat it. The burst, uh, the, the AD, lethality, out of combat move speed, in combat move speed for 2700 gold is insanely good. You see it specifically on junglers a lot because they don't have to worry about building HP since they're ganking. You see it, don't really see it on laners as much, especially top laners or bot laners for that matter. We'll go ahead and leave our ward right here in a second. Just like so. We got our Q. Your Q does more damage at point blank range. It's a good auto reset as well. Against enemy champions, oftentimes you have to use it as a gap closer, but if you have the option to, just use it as an auto Q reset. It does more damage at point blank range than as the dash, it's about double. We'll go ahead and finish him off. He's already below 600 health, so I don't really want to smite him here. We'll walk it over with the rake. Does damage on the way out and on the way back in. Auto Q auto. I don't want to take another auto from that big one, so we'll just keep kiting this back. And we just did a leashless 225, guys. That's kind of insane. We jump over the wall. We get nothing because he talon tied or uh, Vladimir kind of just died there. Necton kind of needs to push that. Udir is probably going to invade me. I want to get my health back in a longsword, so I'll come back to here. That's exactly what I'll do. This is going to look really troll, but I'm actually about to ghost if I don't see Udir. Yeah, I got a ghost here. As troll as it is, it's not worth losing all my, <laughs> all my camps up here. So he decided not to invade. I got my longsword. All right, we'll just wait right here. Go ahead and get out the W, auto, Q, auto. Get my potion on. I do have longsword advantage here. Auto, W, we'll go ahead and E away, and we're chilling. Really close fight. Talon's base stats aren't crazy good. He mainly re relies off of building up a snowball lead, which I think we'll be able to do this game. Not sure where their mid laner is. He also kind of went in for the chase angle there. It's making me a little nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and play for Scuttle. He doesn't do damage. We can heal off of him real quick. An auto Q auto. I think opposite side Scuttle will be down. So I think I'm better off just taking his Raptors, playing it safe. It's our best bet right now. Auto Q auto. Let me drag it out. Play around second W cycle. Let's keep moving them around. All right, we could cross over, could go for Vlad. I'm down to cross though, especially if he doesn't see me. I think he's probably in river or on my jungle if I had to guess, yeah. Not that surprising. We still have level 1 Raptors on our side. I haven't been playing this side of the map really at all. Boop. We'll go bot lane. Varus just has mana. Doesn't have crazy items. I have enough health to gank. Oh nice. Morgana root. I'm on my way. I got snared. <coughs> it's going to take me a bit to get here. They're running the right way to get away too. We'll eat over this side. I should be able to catch up to her. Huge Morg snare. We're going to W, Q to get to her. Down she goes. That's huge. Varus does have the option to turn. He's not going to. We can just run away. So Uder is in the area. He's looking to come mid or jungle. He might come over here. We'll see. All right. We got it. We'll take Krugs. Wooter's definitely in the bot lane area. He might be on Dragon. He pathed over but never went to my red buff. Oh, he's in my jungle right now. This is wild. We'll go ahead and just hop over the wall. Hop over the wall. He, he burned his ghost, so he's moving really fast. 
Yasuo is on his way. He's level 6. Yeah, we need to get on Udir. We're going to Q auto W. Nice. Yeah, I'm dead from Yasuo, though. I got nowhere to go. Riven is only level 5, so this fight's kind of rough. Kids getting nice shots over the wall. Yasuo win wall blocks off. Caitlyn the flash. <laughs> That's a pretty good fight, all in all. I'm happy with that. Udyr greeted really hard. I think he's getting frustrated we're taking his camp, so he did a ridiculous invade. <laughs> Udyr has some of the worst invades in the game. Because his escape potential. He can't go over walls, so once he's out of position, he's just dead. His speed up isn't that good on its own, unless it's combined with a speed up item like Dead Man's or Force of Nature. We can go take his Raptors again here as well. Level 1 Gromp. And level 1 uh, Blue Buff. Look at that passive damage. I'm about to hit 6. Just Gromp into his Raptors will be hitting a pre-7 minute level 6, I think. Really, er really, really early for jungle. Pre-7 minute 30s. Harder and harder to hit these days with how much jungle seems to get nerfed every season. So he did get the rift bugs. That sucks. He might be going to his red buff right now. His red buff should be up. Nope, he's going mid instead. They're doing a random chase, so we'll go ahead and just take this then. He might go for my raptors. We'll see if Riven can get away. She needs to use the walls. Nice. Then Krugs gets over the single hit. Doesn't quite finish her off. We're just going to go to my Raptors most likely. But he already lost his Raptors and I got his red as well. We'll head for Vlad. We'll ghost it down. We can lead in with an R for the speed up. Q auto W. I think he dies. Yep. Bleed finishes him before he can heal. Not bad. A lot of times you will lead in with R. It does damage when the rings pop out. So as long as they're within range for the circle to hit them, it's really, really good. Because a lot of times they'll turn to hit you. They'll slow them down. They can't hit you because you go invisible. And then your next auto attack or Q that you do will make the rest of the rings hit them. So it's, it's, it's a lot of damage. Just make sure you're... If you, if you really feel like you need it, you want to wait to use your R until you're close. Close enough for the initial damage to impact. He's getting all the objectives. I'm going to have to play off of a big goal lead and push the map around because he's just simply taking all the objectives. No con no contest, really. We should dive Varus here. He's all by himself. His support randomly went mid. He's got no boots, no health items. I'm on a ward. He panic ard. He felt like he was dying there. Oh, there's someone over here. I think Uder's right here. Yeah, Uder's like literally right here. Going in W, auto, Q, auto. This guy's so screwed. What is he doing? Nice. I got the Gromp as well. That's big. Caitlyn's on Ghost. We get a red buff auto on him. Oh, I need to get away from this. Oh my gosh. Dude, Renata's so broken. I hate that passive so much. She gets to just say, okay, my teammate gets free Zillion R. Just not even, it's not even her ultimate. Because I should have been able to commit there. We kill Varus. There's no risk of us dying. But once she puts that on him, that screwed us really bad there. They're playing AD heavy. When you see Hellblade Udyr, you already know that it's an AD Udyr. So their team is really full AD. It's just Renata Vlad, which is their magic damage. I'm going to go take his Raptors again. Those are always free pickings. Auto Q auto. We have bonus damage against monsters. 120% bonus damage on our passive bleed. Ah, that sucks. It's healing too fast. My red buff's coming up, Scuttle's coming up. I'll path for bot lane here real quick. R's on a short cooldown relatively. See if Uder's here. Oh, this is a setup. I'm here. We'll pop Yomu's. Uder's behind me, but he can't keep up with this. We'll go ahead. Q to get to her. WR. 
It's gonna make me hit more. That sucks. Looter's not a full item. He's building weird movement speed stuff early. Renata are so freaking strong. I needed the Morgue Black Shield there. I think I would have had a kill with that. I think Uder's bot lane at the moment because he was already here. So what's the odds that he left? He didn't go for my Raptors either. So we'll try to work our way around. Nice. That's a good ward pickup. I doubt this bush is warded. Okay, I'm gonna jump out. Q auto W. He's dead. Sucks to suck, Varus. Massive Morg Snare. We'll go ahead and hit her with the Q. That's a double. Gotta push this gold lead around without dying. Throwing shot down again. We just stay here. Yasuo's mid. Their top laner's top. This is free. We've broken all their wards, so he can't even TP in on this. Riven gets the solo kill. That's huge. Auto Q auto. We might be able to kill in between turrets if we don't make it really obvious because this shouldn't be awarded. Don't want to use my Q because they're about to show up. We'll go ahead and R out. Auto Q auto W. Mm, nice. That's so big. That's so big, dude. They both die again. They lose two or three extra waves. Massive follow-up from Caitlyn Morg. It was huge. And we'll play for Dragon. So we just reset. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Second item, talent, loads of options. I prefer running it uh, safer, especially with a gold lead. I think there's no reason to commit to full lethality because if they just stack a little bit of armor, like Renata is doing, the jungler is doing, Vlad could easily pull that off. I mean, Varus really wants to so you could go play it in, so... Generally speaking, Black Cleaver, second item is, in, is insanely good with Talon. I, I do not recommend committing to full lethality burst when they have plenty of champions who can counteract that. I would only do that if they're full squish, which they're not. I need to get on her. I can't. We take Scuttle at least. I think they might be on those void bugs. Yeah, Uder's going void bugs. I think we should just push kind of mid, get Yasuo low maybe, and then they can't do them. I don't want them getting bugs while we get uh, drag. Yeah, this works. I like this. Their blue's coming up as well. I want that blue. Void grubs apparently disappear 14 minute mark. You can't get those anymore. Cool, first, second drag goes to us. And then Q auto R. It's making me chase a ward instead of Varus, that's hilarious. Q auto. I like how she exhausted me, what a turd. Ghost Yomu synergy is strong, it makes Talon jump much faster. His jump's completely based off his movement speed in terms of the jump speed. Semi similar to Callista jump. Gotta try to stay in this guy's jungle as much as possible. If I'm farming my own camps with a gold lead, that's a huge mistake. Gotta keep our boot on his head. Yep, ganking mid so much harder now because of this stupid wall. It's actually ridiculous how hard mid is to gank because of this wall. You take two to five turret shots depending on your movement speed. And the turret sees you the whole time from the get-go when you try to come around it. It's ridiculous. Is Udyr here? I don't know where Udyr is. Nice. I kind of want to reset now. I'm low. I can get my Black Cleaver. I'm going to run out and kill their AD carry. With Yomu's, even if you don't have boots, you're still faster than most champions with tier 2 boots. At least out of combat. You'll be moving somewhere around three, 
390 ish on most champions and most champions tier 2 boots move around 380 unfortunately they do surrender here if you guys enjoyed this talent video let me know what champion you want to see next down in the comments below my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time